In 2006, Max Schenker lost his 31-year-old brother Robert to carbon monoxide poisoning. Robert hired a builder he'd been recommended to fix his weathered chimney. It was connected to the flue pipe on the kitchen boiler, and unbeknown to Robert, the builder dropped mortar down the chimney, blocking it. My brother, in parallel, had begun to feel unwell, which, with hindsight, were the um, telltale signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. This was a Saturday afternoon. He'd made some arrangements to go out with his girlfriend that evening for a bite to eat. A neighbour had suggested he should perhaps ask the builder if it was safe to put the heating on because he wanted to have a shower before he went out, so he needed some hot water. So he phoned the builder. The builder had said, as far as I'm concerned, everything's safe. Switch the boiler back on. So my brother did. He, um, he went to bed because he was still feeling unwell try and sleep off what he thought was a hangover, and um, that was the last time he was seen. A few days after my brother's death, the health and safety executive got in touch. They did their investigation work, and they said within seven minutes, the house was full of dangerous levels of carbon monoxide poisoning. The police then had to become involved because it, from a health and safety point of view, they felt it had become a crime scene. The builder was later convicted of manslaughter. New research carried out among registered gas engineers reveals that more than 50% found a dangerous gas boiler, cooker or fire in a customer's home in the last year. One of those engineers was Christopher Darby, who was called out to a routine service in Taunton after the homeowner complained of headaches, dizziness and was rushed to hospital after collapsing. Uh, when I arrived I walked in and initially I could see staining going up the wall from CO coming out of the wall heater. Because it was letting out CO, I condemned it straight away and issued a warning notice. I don't think I saved her life, but obviously I had a big in impact on her health by me noticing that, that problem. My advice to people is to have their appliances checked by a gas safe engineer every 12 months. In the last year, at least 7,600 homes in the North West have escaped deadly gas incidents such as explosions, fires and carbon monoxide poisoning, all thanks to the work of registered gas engineers. You can't see carbon monoxide, you can't smell it and you can't taste it. So you wouldn't necessarily know it was there. The symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are headache, nausea, feeling dizzy, breathlessness, collapse and loss of consciousness. 31 people have been killed and 1,000 people have been injured over the last three years as a result of a gas-related incident. It's really important to make sure that you have gas appliances serviced yearly and always use a gas-safe registered engineer. Ask to see the engineer's card to make sure that they're registered to do that type of work and it will be listed on the back of the card what they're registered for. As well as signing up to a free gas safety check reminder service, members of the public are being encouraged to reduce the number of dangerous gas appliances lurking in British homes by also logging on to Gas Safe Register's interactive gas map, which will tell people how safe or unsafe an area is by simply entering their postcode.